Hey guys, Tim Stump from Technique Peak. Just wanted to show you like an in-clinic easy way to test for criteria of running. It's a common question all patients ask, hey, when can I get back to running? Kind of want to have two evidence-based exercises or drills to show that they have achieved the criteria of running. So the first one's real simple. Eight inch step, why? Because that's the common household uh, standard for steps for construction. So the patient's gonna step up onto the box, the injured leg or surgical leg is the control leg, and they're gonna come down with their unaffected leg, touch and feel, good, and then come on around. So the verbal cues when you're looking at this is come down slow and as controlled as possible. And you have them touch the heel so they don't dampen the force or uh, compensate with the toes of their good leg. Let's try it again. So you're gonna come down slow and controlled, touch the heel. As a clinician, the two biggest things you're looking for is that they don't collapse at the very end and also the uh, complaint of pain, all right? So here they showed us, uh, he showed us that he has the base level of strength. If he can't do something slow and controlled, it's impossible to do it fast and ballistically. So check box one. Box two is we're gonna look at stretch shortening cycle drill. Low amplitude, multiple response jumps in place. So patient is just going to jump up and down like they're uh, skipping rope, go ahead. And you're just looking for compensation, how long they're spending time on the ground, which you know is the amortization phase. Great, looks good, looks symmetrical. We can make it a little bit more complex by just giving them a pattern. So let's do dot drill level one. So you're gonna come back to the dots on the back side. He's gonna jump in, out, in, out. Go. Have him do it for about 15 seconds, just looking A doesn't hurt, looking for compensation, and how fast he's able to get off the ground. Excellent, thank you. Now if those two tests are, uh, he passes them with flying colors, then I have the confidence to start a run walk program, and you're not gonna get any uh, you know, reports back from the doctor that you ran the patient too early. Thank you very much.